What is up, my fellow Chibits? Today, I'm here to bring all of you the weekly chapter review of One Piece. This chapter, One Piece, confirms quite a bit, sets up quite a bit, and makes us question who is really going to be the villain of this arc. Because we come to find out that Jack is the one that caused the damage. But the main thing we need to wonder is, is we know Jack is gone. Right now, he's going to go help out Davi. So, what is the main villain of this arc? Is it going to be Weevil? You know, Whitebeard's opposed son, even though I highly fucking doubt that's Whitebeard's son. Still, is it going to be Weevil popping up? Is he going to be the main villain? Or is this going to be a different type of arc where we just get some information, exposition, and move on to another arc? For instance, Wano. Because that's the way it looks like right now. I mean, it feels like, get the Straw Hats back and move on. So right now, there doesn't seem to be anything that's really going to stop them right now. Because usually by this time in a One Piece arc, we already have our threat and enemy laid out before us. And we kind of already know who we need to start looking at for the final baddie of the arc. And I mean, we do know Weeble is coming. But is he going to make it to this arc? Or is it going to be something else? Because we do know that this elephant that they're currently on is over a thousand years old. And this elephant saw, you know, the Void Century. So it's possible Oda might just focus this arc on information. Which I think would be a nice good change of pace for One Piece. To just focus on information, finding out some backstory and stuff. Because there's quite some intriguing things I want to know about when it comes to the culture of the Mink Tribe. To what this elephant has seen. And also, if one of these Mink Tribes might eventually join the Straw Hat crew. Because it's been a while since we have seen another one join the crew. And I'm not counting, you know, all the commanders that were rallying under, you know, Luffy. Saying, oh, we'll be part of your crew. We'll be your ally. Not stuff like that. I'm talking about someone that's going to be traveling with Luffy. And become like a crew member. And go each island to island with him. So I wonder if any of the mink tribe might join. Maybe it might be that like reindeer deer thing we saw that was following Chopper around when we saw Chopper a couple chapters ago. Maybe that that person might join. But let's get into actually specifics of this chapter. So the mink tribe or the minks pretty damn strong. We get to see some abilities of them like especially carrot Carrot's jumping abilities are ridiculous. The how high she jumped up in the air was insane. Like, did you see how high she was? Like, that, that's crazy. So, we can assume that all of these mink tribes, depending on what type of, you know, animal they are, they will have characteristics of what, you know, their certain animal is. So, for instance, like a rabbit, since they're known for, like, hopping or jumping, of course, Carrot would be a, like good at jumping so you could assume like crazy creatures that could run fast and maybe like a cheetah or something would be extremely fast and be able to catch up with people so these mink tribes are probably going to be very unique and interesting and they're going to probably play off these animal traits that we see in real life so i'm looking forward to seeing what oda comes up with and what other type of mink tribes are going to see are we just going to see like you know regular type of animals or are we going to see like you know mythological creatures and stuff that are the mink tribe like what if we saw like a mink tribe person that looked like maybe a dragon or a phoenix you know different things like that which ra raises the question about something i want to mention right now which I i'm starting to ponder now that i think about it if you think about the entirety of the new world that we've been into so far with these arcs, it's been about artificial devil fruit. You know, constructing artificial devil fruit, trying to stop Doffy from making it, and that's what Kaido was using to kind of build his army. And look at the way this arc is being set up. Just take a moment to think about this, okay? This arc is focused around animals, mink tribe. And what have we been hearing about constantly in these past couple arcs? You have it to where Kaido is building up an army of devil fruit users that use artificial devil fruits to be able to transform into animals. So there's definitely a link here with the mink tribe and the artificial devil fruits that Oda's probably trying to imply, which raises the next question I have right now. What if, just, just, you know, theory, okay? Grain of salt, just a theory. What if the artificial devil, fr uh, devil fruit that's being made, what if for some reason... The mink tribe are being used with it to make the artificial level fruit. What if? Just, just what if? That'd be kind of crazy. That would definitely change our thought process on these artificial level fruit and how they're kind of made. But also, there might be a little bit more to understand now when it comes to Momo and, you know, why 
he has some mystery wrapped around him. But for now, though, moving past that, we also have it to where we get to see Beppo. Wait, he's confirmed to be a Meekman. So, I I'm glad that many that were theorizing last chapter, they were correct, because I remember seeing many of them in the comments saying, like, yeah, Be uh, Beppo is probably a Meekman since he's a polar bear or a bear. Now, thinking about it, he is one of these guys. So, yeah. Pretty cool. I, I like how Oda used that type of character to kind of foreshadow this arc. Pretty good shit, Oda. Pretty good shit. It seems like he already knew what he was going to do with this arc in the past. Because if you think about it, in Sabori, you had it to where the Mink Tribe were on the slave list. You know when they were selling mermaids and stuff and humans and giants? Mink men were also on this. I saw Achievement link me the picture a couple of weeks back. Uh, referencing the Mink Men, and it goes to show you how far Oda has been foreshadowing the Mink Men in this arc for that, because that's when we were really introduced to Beppo. So, pretty cool. So, yeah, the chapter overall, pretty simple, set up, and sets up for Jack. Is Jack going to come back? Is Jack going to continue doing what he's doing? Who's going to be the main villain? Is this going to be an information arc? Who knows? So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.